Do you want a $1.2 billion stadium in your backyard? Stay tuned. Blake and I will be talking about it next. I'm Sue Jeffers for Libertarian Viewpoint. Libertarianism is all about liberty, the exercise of freedom that doesn't impinge on the rights of others. We constantly hear the drum roll of government solutions. This show's purpose is to allow you to see for yourself why non-government solutions are a better alternative. Today our guest is Blake Huffman. We're going to talk about the Viking Stadium. What got you involved in advocating non-government solutions to the problem of our Viking Stadium, Blake? Thank you, Sue, and thanks for letting me be here, and it'll be a pleasure to talk about this. I, uh, I serve on the City Council in Shoreview, Minnesota, ne next door, of course, to, uh, to Arden Hills, where the proposed stadium is scheduled to be. And I want to start out by saying I'm here on my own accord, not, nece not necessarily representing the City of Shoreview. Uh, there's three really big concerns I have with the proposed stadium, and I'd love to talk about all three of those uh, with you today. Only three? three. I can think of 5.3 <laughs> million reasons. That's all the people who live in the state of Minnesota. It says in Minnesota state law, we are guaranteed a right to vote on a sales tax increase, and I'm furious that I feel like they're trying to take that away from us. That certainly is uh, certainly one of the big three planks that I like to uh, talk about is, is the people's right to uh, have a comment on this, have a conversation about this, even have a public hearing about this has just been virtually uh, removed from, uh, from today's uh, lexicon. We had two public hearings on it for the Charter Commission. I was at the one in New Brighton. It was packed, I, wall to wall to wall to wall people. And it was incredible how many people did not want it. Now, at the second one in downtown St. Paul, it was kind of interesting because clearly the trade unions were there in full force with their traffic vests on and, mm -hmm. and all that saying, wait a minute, we need these jobs. Right. I was at the New Brighton one as well, and I watched this, the, uh, the highlight, the newscast of the uh, St. Paul one. Uh, the, the, the New Brighton one, which was just amazing to me, was uh, the two things that jumped out to my mind was certainly the, the crowd, maybe two, three hundred people, and certainly nine to one against uh, the stadium being built. But I thought even more compelling were the people that came up there with Viking jerseys that said, we love the Vikings, we're even okay with the stadium, but we need to have a vote on it. Uh, because that's just the way it, it should be done here. That's what state law says. That certainly is what the Ramsey County Charter uh, Commission, uh, the charter says it should be. Um, on top of that, though, you know, that was a good public hearing, and as I'm sure the one in St. Paul was, but it's still the Ramsey County Commission has not had a, a public hearing. So the commissioners have not had a chance to hear what the public thinks. I, I assume that's on, on purpose. I think they know what the public thinks, and I think they're very fearful of that. So certainly the public input has been uh, discarded, which is just a shame. You think about it, Sue, right now, if I could use fo football uh, ling lingo, we're at the uh, the inch line or the the one uh, yard line about, you know, the other side's about to go in for a touchdown, and we have yet to have a public vote on this issue, which is the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. And and it seems like nobody nobody wants to allow us to have our right, our right to vote on it, whether mm -hmm. you're talking about Governor Dayton, whether you're talking about members of the legislature, whether you're talking about the Charter Commission, whether you're talking about the Ramsey County Commissioners, all of them are doing everything they can to make sure we don't get to have our right to vote. Right. It's It seems to me that because uh, somehow sports, and I love sports, I love watching the Vikings, I've watched probably 95% of all the games, you know, in the last uh, 10 years, but somehow sports has been elevated to this level where we can't say anything even kind of negative about the sports. I like in the whole conversation too, if you were going to have a, a, uh, an, a, another business get some kind of public subsidy, of course you would have public hearings, of course you would have conversations, and they'd be really tough and, and, and meaningful conversations. And somehow in this Viking Stadium, which is obviously, as we know, $1.2 billion, 
and, and perhaps even more, um, we're not allowed to have that. It's amazing. In Shoreview, we've had this conversation, and the conversation is this. We had a, a turkey issue last year. We had too many turkeys running around, literally turkeys running around in the city. <laughs> we have talked more in the city of Shoreview about the turkey problem, two public hearings, lots of conversation, than we have seen either the Arden Hills City Council or the Ramsey County Commissioners talk about this stadium. It's unbelievable. What did you do about the turkeys? You know, uh, we tried to uh, capture and uh, kill uh, them, uh, and we caught three of them. Um, <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, uh, nature takes care of things, Sue. We have a coyote issue this year, and that made the turkey issue go away. Perfect. It <laughs> took care of itself. <laughs> okay, sorry, we got a little sidetracked there. I had to know about the turkey issue, It's though. a critical issue. It, it, well, it is when it's in your community. It could be, and yes. it is amazing that so many of the areas, in, including Ramsey County and the cities inside of Ramsey County, mm -hmm. have not had hearings on what to do. Has Shoreview taken a stand on the stadium? We have taken two stands. We First, we sent a letter off to uh, the county commission back in February saying, before you proceed, we have lots of questions on the site. And, and, and we talked a lot about the sites, and I'll detail those in just a bit. And then we did take a public uh, position and voted on uh, unanimously that we oppose the sales tax concept of paying for any stadium um, in Ramsey County. I know uh, Mayor Coleman in St. Paul has come out against a sales tax in mm -hmm. Ramsey County as well. Are you two the only entities in, in Ramsey County that have come out publicly against it? I believe a few other cities have, have supported it. And actually, unfortunately, we've seen a few cities actually go the other way and actually support the stadium. I know Vadnais Heights is one city that has supported uh, the use of tax, uh, sales tax for uh, building a new stadium. Crazy. All right, let's talk about uh, the current proposal and let's talk about the fiscal issues. Mm -hmm. it, it's one, you said $1.2 billion. It is way more than $1.2 billion. Right. People don't realize that. No, you're absolutely right. So the, the, the price take is 1.2, but it's like when you buy a house, you don't buy just the house, you buy the interest over the next several years. And you know, and I think we could all make a pretty good guess in terms of last time a government project came in under budget, uh, you know, if you're going to take the over or under on a, a government project coming in, I bet most people would take the over in terms of coming in count over budget. On, you can count on one hand the number of projects that have come in under budget. Mm -hmm. Generally, government projects are 29 percent over. That that doesn't surprise any of us, I'm sure. I think, though, the bigger issue on the fiscal there's there's two big fiscal issues in my mind. One of them is is the absolute uh, hypocrisy and, and ludicrousness of this idea that um, we would spend $650 million of public money, 350 from the county, 300 from the state, in this environment. You know, last week, uh, one of the n local newspapers had an article about this uh, issue, and on the other side of the, the front page was the fact that, an article that talked about the fact that one out of, I think, it was 17 bridges in our state is failing. And so we have this decision to make. Is it bridges, and should we protect ourselves and, and make sure we don't have another tragedy like we had in Minneapolis, or should we give money to a private business? I think the answer is pretty easy. Bridges, stadium. I'm going with the bridges. I think it's a pretty obvious choice. And then on top of that, you throw in the fact that everybody I've talked to either agrees with one of these two statements. And A, they're, being, they're paying too much in taxes, or B, they're not getting enough services in schools, their roads, the infrastructure, health and human services. I don't hear anybody saying that the stadium is a top issue for them. The stadium cannot possibly be a top issue for anything but Ziggy Wolf right I, about now. I think you're right. 